Also, another cool story, if you will. Today, the major central banks of Europe agreed to a new five-year cap on the sale of gold reserves. Cool, but maybe more interesting, I should say. Michael Whitney from the uh, Markets Desk with a story on how it really may affect gold prices. So we're watching this closely for the impact here. Certainly, it's uh, going to have an impact. And something that the gold bugs are watching very closely. This is one of the shoes that they were waiting to drop. Mm -hmm. uh, these uh, central banks in Europe, they hold around 40% of the world's gold reserves. So they can uh, unleash this onto the market. It is an actual huge amount of selling. Take a look at just sort of the IMF here, which is possibly going to be covered under this accord. Right. The IMF holds the world's third largest reserves. It's about 13 million ounces or about 403 metric tons of selling. Put that in context of what's traded on the COMEX market here. That's about 125,000 lots of selling. The open interest in the most liquid contact right now is about twice that. So this is a massive amount of selling that could be coming in the market. All right, just thinking supply demand, Michael, here. I mean, if they reduce the amount of gold they were going to sell, I mean, shouldn't that essentially mean prices and uh, gold prices particularly would go higher? Well, the gold bugs would be very happy with you. They think that that's really what's going to happen right. here. However, under the central bank gold agreement they actually haven't been selling that much so lowering it from 500 to 400 wasn't that big a deal according to the uh, the world gold council only about 140 metric tons have been sold so far this year so they're really not selling all the reserves so the impact is a little bit negligible but the big thing here was the IMF you put the IMF in this it takes out a little bit of the uncertainty that the gold bugs are a little bit worried about all right speaking of uh, commodity uh, soaring to uh, the inflation adjusted high of 1980 I mean we've been looking at sugar today. You and I were talking in the break. I mean, it's up again big time today. What's going on here with sugar? Well, the story just keeps, keeps on giving. It really is about India. India is the world's largest consumer of sugar. They consume about 23 and a half million tons a year. Take a look at the chart here. It shows the two growing ma major growing regions in India. It's Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. You can see the green on the left side. Those are the main growing regions, the dark green. And then look here at the rainfall charts, the red here. That shows rainfall deficits. This is talking about not enough rain for cane. Mm -hmm. Sugar cane doesn't like dry weather. It just doesn't like drought. And this is really affecting their crop right now. People are lowering their estimates. They were as high as 19 million tons. Right. Now the estimate's around 16 million tons. So the Indians, they got to come and buy sugar. Everybody knows that they got to come and buy sugar. The speculators are buying it in front of them. So, and so the Indians are just going to have to come to the market and get it. It's just the price out. But nonetheless, it's a big, pretty big move here. Huge move. All right, got it. Michael, thank you so much. Michael breaking down the commodity trade.